Look at this gorgeous girl. Sold unit, Mach E4. These run for hmm, quite a bit. 52,815. And uh, I told them I had never PDI'd one. And I show you guys the vehicles uh, as I PDI them. So you guys get to see what they look like. And if, you, if you've never been in one or you can live vicariously through me showing one. So I hope the customer sees this video. I'm going to go ahead and get it down. Get tags and everything off of the rims. Make sure everything is cleaned out. Make sure all the VIN etching and stuff is put in and get it ready for the customer to receive it make sure everything's okay take it out of transport mode etc etc very quiet That's kind of neat. Giant screen. Power on. Look at this screen. This thing is huge. All the different options. You want to play games? You can sit here, play games in your car. That's what you gotta do. It's the blocks that go up here. Can you can you rotate them? I see now. You gotta put the blocks in areas where they fit and you can see what's next so you can actually start to line things up. I see. That's pretty neat, actually. Okay, not gonna lie. That's uh, that's pretty darn neat. Can you rotate them, or you can't rotate them? Probably can't rotate them. Now I see what has to, okay. At first I was a little lost on what you could do and what you couldn't do. So that's that's pretty neat actually, you know. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool. Anyway, you get the point. So you can play games, you can play tiles, you can sketch on your screen. You can doodle while you're sitting here waiting. You can go back out. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, tire pressure. Go in here and look at all this. Is that where it's supposed to be? Um, let's go back up here. Got your phone stuff. 
big giant screen, right? It's pretty neat. Um, Bluetooth. Click on the car, and it will give you a display of the car. Valet mode, parking, access, driver assistance, camera. That's what it looks like in front of the car. And then you could set your depth. You can change your camera angle so you get multiple angles of what's going on. You can do just front only, or you can do 360 and what's going around you and front. back to your car different drive modes you can go here it'll tell you what what do you want you want whisper engage unbridled you know that's probably more like a sport mode it gives you different modes over here on your cluster so there, that's, that, that was Whisper. This is Engage. You get a battery power level. This is Unbridled. Get that like cool etched background. Battery level, range level, what position you're in, how many miles are on the vehicle. Turn the parking brake off. Bright lights are working. I wonder if you can turn. Does it have that? Uh... Oh, that's for the rear, rear wiper. I don't know if you can see that back there or not. It's pretty neat. Here, sunglass spot. You got your LEDs inside. Decent speed window, not very slow. Here's your uh, pull to open. Very nice cush seats. If you need um, heated steering wheel, heated steering wheel. that is that's these spring stops inside here you gotta pull those out of there let's go drive it let's go get those spring stops out of there Go get all the stickers off of it, all the plastic off the visors and stuff like that. Go through the glove compartment, make sure any information that they send with it is there. Anything that can be installed, it should be installed. Install it while we're here. The windshield washer fluid. Access panel so you can get into the lights.
that's all that's how you can make your light adjustments what is this oh that's in case that's in case uh so if somebody's stuck in there, they can get out. I'm gonna get those rubber stops out of the springs. bound up that's why there we go oh I want got pockets in the back right here USB and type C very nice seats very nice was that premium sound system And sometimes you'll see these cards inside the vehicle um, that says to the owner of the vehicle was or the new vehicle was selected at random for road testing following assembly the odometer reading includes 14 miles 11 kilometers registered during the evaluation we hope you will enjoy driving your new Ford Motor Company vehicle for many safe and pleasant miles and this gives you the stamp that this vehicle was selected for batch testing to make sure everything was coming off the assembly line appropriately. And I used to... See, they don't come with a binder anymore, so I don't put... I don't take them out of the plastic anymore. I leave them alone. Because I don't want to put loose items in there. Huh? It has the auto trunk release and close or the whatever you call it the does it have the i don't know if it has maybe you have to have the key in your hand sometimes you're able to swipe your foot We gotta put it up in the air to get the spring or the, the rubber stop out of the springs. They put it in there whenever they're transporting it. So the vehicle, I think it's so it's not bouncing all over the place. So those, those gotta come off. The charge port, the charge port was in the rear underneath the, uh, where the spare tire would be the charge cord is down there and um, the extra mats and stuff like that I'll show you guys real quick
there's the bag with the charge cord and there's like the inflator kit every few years you got to reset the miner through the cluster for that inflator kit higher mobility kit is what it's called and then you have like cloth mats you have hard liners like weather tech type liners and you don't drill into these you let the customer request these be installed so really you're just kind of going over it making sure everything's clean making sure everything's installed properly make sure nothing's loose like how i found that seat belt was twisted and bound up just kind of pull it back out straighten it out let it go back in there and then rolled right up no issue at all take all the garbage and stuff out of it send it down to detail those kind of things get the rubber stops out of it take all the stickers off the rims that everybody always forgets to take off or the the green stickers i hate this rack there's really nothing to see under it it's all completely covered up just one giant shield so you really don't see very much i go around and peel all these off i'll see vehicles like months later after they've been bought these are still on the vehicle and it's like and they have like a little square etched right into the the rim because it's been sitting in the sun there's nobody ever took them off of there Got some big old calipers on these things, big old rotors on them, that's for sure. got Michelin what are these two twenty five fifty five nineteens but what are they though Michelin primacy all season So that spring stop came out. These are only for transport, then they go in the garbage. That's it. Let's go drive it. All right, everything's done. It's been checked out. The vin etching and everything's been put on it. Let's see, check these windows out here, see how they work. Oh, that's the door lock right there. That's a mirror fold. Let's do the right mirror. It's pretty fast. Let's do the left mirror. Wow, the camera's nice. This is the actual first big screen camera that I've actually liked where it's very like realistic. Like the F-150s with the larger screens and stuff like that, I don't like those. This, I actually like because it's not all pixelated and it's actually very accurate to what you're dealing with. The turning radius is kind of sharp. It's nice. The brakes are very, very, very touchy.
has a V8 engine sound when you're driving it. It's in kilometers. We're going to have to change that. Change the vehicle speed to miles per hour. Please try again. Change the vehicle speed reading to miles per hour. Say something like call John Smith, navigate to One American Road Dearborn, Michigan, the Sirius channel name or FM 88.7. Cancel. How can I help you? Cancel. So I went into driver's assistance and I see this here. It says speedometer kilometers. And then I turned it off and it changed it to miles per hour. And as you're driving it, you get, and you go to increase speed, you get this V8 sound. tells you what the speed limit of the road is supposed to be while you're driving it so you turn the cruise control on and set it at 40 mile an hour because you're going 40 mile an hour that's fine and it knows that the next speed sign is 45 and it automatically increases the cruise control to 45 so let's just set it here we'll set it at 40 and then the speed limit's changing to 55 like right now and it knows and it increases the speed on its own to the speed limit of the road see it changed my speed limit marker to 56 but because the car in front of me is so close it's actually bringing itself down and regulating where it's supposed to be until that car gets away from me so it could reset it goes one mile per hour over what the speed limit is set at so if it's 55 it sets it at 56 and then it starts its distance control until it can actually have the clear to get there so it's trying but it's also detecting the distance as well it keeps slowing back down because that guy up there is slowing down erratically and the vehicle is driving based on its sonar perception of how far away it is See, it's slowing down now because that guy slowed down coming up to the sill. And then you go to make a turn. So it's 40 around this corner and I'll set it at 30. And you'll see it increase on its own. I'll take my foot off of it just for the Mach-E owners that want to know how that stuff works. So speed's 40 here and it knows it. So I'm going to set it at 25. Well, I'll set it at it needs to go into a speed zone to change if you're already in the speed zone and then set it wherever you want it'll leave it alone until it sees the next speed zone I'll show you up here further so right up here it changes to 35 so I'll set the cruise and see if it if it adapts going down I don't know if it'll adapt going down so this speed limit right here is 40 Let's see if it slows you down to the speed limit if you're going over the speed limit so you don't get in trouble. So we'll go, we'll set it at 40. It'll increase speed until it matches what you want. And let's see what happens further down when we get closer to like the school zone or something like that. And it has to slow down to the speed limit down instead of up. It's stopping on its own right now.
I didn't touch not a thing. I let it stop on its own and it's actually increasing speed back on its own again. I did not touch anything. That's kind of wild. It did everything on its own right there. It stopped the vehicle and it accelerated on its own. And now it's controlling distance based on that car in front of us. So all the features of this vehicle are working perfectly fine. Now here's where we're coming up to that 35 mile an hour zone. Let's see if the vehicle picks it up and actually slows down based on the actual uh, organized speed limit that's here part of this road. So now that guy's away from us and it picked up speed and it rematched what, it, what I have it set at. And then right up here, that next sign is 35. This is probably the wildest vehicle that I have driven so far. Absolutely crazy. I love being able to educate people on the features. So here's 35. The vehicle knows that we're in a 35. So there, and it is decreasing speed to the speed limit. And I'm not touching anything at all. My feet are here. It rematched one mile an hour faster than the posted speed limit. And it even tells you it's 35, but it sets it one mile an hour over. And when it starts to slow itself down, it doesn't have any um, jarriness to it. It has a very, very wide but controlled uh, definitive range on when it starts to increase or, or when it starts to decrease your speed because it sees somebody in front of you it's not like a boom you're stopping quick it's a nice gradual 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 you can feel the brakes yeah incorporating the brakes and the electronic motor at the same time to slow the vehicle down and it's very subtle but very quick at the same time and it's very far away that it can detect that you're not aware of what's about to happen so it does it for you it's that was very nice and very easy without jarring me at all so say for instance somebody was to fall asleep and this would it's, it's kind of crazy you'd have to control the wheel obviously but if somebody was to fall asleep this would stop you from impacting somebody um based on you driving behind them and you know coming to a stop i'm not condoning anybody even attempt to do that but i'm in complete aware control of the vehicle right now trying to make sure all the features function everything is functioning exactly as it's designed and it's my job to go through and actually check these features out so that's exactly what we're doing here so we're making sure everything works on this vehicle uh there is a mile per hour zone up here that goes from 35 to 40 to 45 let's see if the vehicle can pick up all those zones on its own so we will increase speed to 30 mile an hour And then the two zones coming up, we'll see what the vehicle does in accordance with. So we're in a 30 right now. It's a red light. Oh, it's a 30, 40, and then 45. So we'll see what the vehicle does once we get up here. All right, so we're back in that. I should reset it at 30. is 35 right here let's see if it picks up on its own so here's a 35 mile an hour zone coming up and it's going to set it at 36 watch yep set this cruise control at 36 one mile an hour over increase speed on its own now we've got a 40 coming up right here in the middle of this bridge and it'll change it to 41 you see my feet are off of it i'm not touching it at all change it to 41 And then once we get up here in the middle of this hill, it'll change to 45, but it'll set the cruise at 46. It's kind of odd that it sets it one mile an hour over the posted speed limit. So right up here in the as the sill goes up and then comes back down there's 45 right in the middle of it right there on the right so we'll see it'll go to, it'll set the cruise at 46 we just passed it 
it's not picking up the 45 mile an hour zone yet maybe it'll pick up there it is it's in the middle of the two moved it to 46 and that one will run 46 all the way down until it'll drop back down to I think 40 on the other side of uh, 72 Pretty neat. Brakes work good, the electronics work good, everything inside the vehicle works good. All the functions work good. It's out of transport mode, all the stickers are off of it. Spring blocks for transport are out of it. Uh, check to make sure the basic information was in the glove box that's in there no more binder because all the manual and everything's in the screen now and uh, the customer is able to take control of their view so i hope that informed you guys a little bit on how these vehicles function um I, I was trying to be somewhat more educational on this one because I know a lot of people were interested in seeing exactly what goes into this. Especially this Mach-E, you know. As you're backing up, it's got a beep that comes from the front instead of the rear. Should be in the rear, not the front. Here we go, Mr. Customer, come pick up your vehicle, you're good. Charge pad for your phone. It's got a charge pad right there. USB type C. It also has um, parking assist, emergency flashers, parking brake. Um, you can change how it adjusts the cruise control the the self-adjust once you get closer and closer to the vehicle in front of you you can have maximum depth or you can move it closer to get closer to the vehicle i recommend leaving it further away just for uh safety reasons cruise control obviously when the cruise control turns on mile per hour bumps over and, and that's in the center of the screen um set uh increase decrease and then reset if you're in cruise control mode, you can reset and cancel to right where you're at or kick it off. Uh, audio controls, phone control, screen control, radio control. Very nice vehicle. Okay, guys. Uh, something a little bit more basic. Sorry for it being so long, but I thought you guys would enjoy this. Be blessed.